tired of uploading shorts daily? In this video, I'll show you how to fully automate YouTube shorts in 15 mins using N8N, no code needed. Why use N8N for the YouTube automation? N8N saves hours every week, whether you're a solo creator, freelancer, or business owner. No coding required. It's free and beginner friendly. It works perfectly with AI tools like ChatGPT and Eleven Labs. You can connect over 350 apps to build powerful automations. Use it on the cloud or self-host it. Totally up to you. Imagine uploading shorts to multiple YouTube channels with no clicks at all. Before we dive in, comment below if you're a small creator. Let's grow together. Save this video so you can follow along step by step. And check the description for free trial link. Here's the four-step workflow we'll build. Trigger the workflow manually or on a schedule. Read tasks from a Google Sheet. Upload videos based on those tasks, then mark each task as complete. Step one, trigger setup. Open Nate N, click new workflow, then add first step. You can choose a manual trigger where you click test workflow to run it or a scheduled trigger. It runs daily or whenever you choose. The schedule won't start until you finish and activate the flow. Step two, read tasks through AI agent instructions. Now let's connect it to a Google Sheet, our dynamic task list. Click get rows in a sheet. First, choose the credential to connect with. First time users need to authenticate with Google. Choose OAuth to log in and approve access. Now connect with your Google Sheet in the drive or use the free template in the description. Include columns like ID, topic, file name, YouTube title, description, tags, and video status. In N8N, read only the rows where the status is to publish. Select document from list and sheet to locate the Google Drive rows. Set filter to pick up the row that video status is to publish. Click add option, select return only first matching row. Turn on return only first matching row to avoid uploading everything at once. Click test step to make sure it works. If nothing appears, go to Google Sheet to check that you marked at least one row as to publish. Now click test step again. The result is shown on the right. Now link the trigger to the Google Sheet step. Great, your workflow knows what to do. Three, upload videos, search files, download files, upload to YouTube. Click Add button, search for Google Drive. Select Search Files and Folders. Click Execute Previous Nodes to get the file information. Select the credential to connect with. This is the Google Drive we set up in the previous step. Then enter the search query, drag and drop the file name from the left. Filter the search location. Click Filter, select Folder, and then choose the folder name. Click Test Step. You should see that it successfully finds the file. Next, add a new step. Search for Google Drive again, but this time select Download File. Download the file by identifying it using its ID. This part is easy. Just drag and drop the ID so the AI agents know which file to download. Perfect. Click Test Step to check the output. You should now see the downloaded file information. Then, the most important step uploading to YouTube using the title, description, and tags from the Google Sheet. Add a new step, search for YouTube, and select Upload a Video. A modal will appear. Select the credentials to connect. This means your YouTube account. You only need to set this up once. Although this process is a bit complicated, just follow my step-by-step -step instructions and you'll finish quickly. For the first time setup, click Create New Credential. You'll probably see that the client ID and client secret fields are empty. I'll guide you step-by-step -step on how to find them. Open a new browser and go to https psharconsole.cloud.google.com. Click Select a Project at the top, then click New Project on the top right. You'll be directed to a new page. Set the project name to N8N Your Account Name and click Create to Confirm. Click Select a Project at the top again, and you'll find your newly created project. Click on it. Click the navigation menu. At the top left, go to APIs and Services, Library. In the API library, search for YouTube data. API v3, select it, and click Enable. Now, you've connected N8N with YouTube. 
click the navigation menu again and choose OAuth consent screen. Click the Get Started button. Set the app name to N8N and add your user support email. Select the user type as external, then input your contact email. Check the box to agree to the Google API Services user data policy and finish the creation. Under the Branding section, scroll down to Authorize Domains, click Add Domain, and enter n8n.cloud, then Save. Next, go to the Navigation menu again and click Credentials. Click Create Credentials. OAuth Client ID. In Application Type, select Web Application and update the name to n8n. Go back to your n8n page, copy the OAuth redirect URL, and paste it into the Google Cloud field, then click Create you will now see your client ID and client secret. These are confidential, don't share them. Paste this information into the N8N platform and click Save. Go back to the Google Cloud Console, click OAuth Consent Screen, click Audience in the OAuth session, and then click Publish App. Now, return to the N8N page and click Sign In with Google. You might see a warning page. No worries, just click Advanced on the left to proceed. The YouTube setup is done. Now, let's configure what to include when uploading to YouTube. Select Video for Resources, then find the Google Sheet values by clicking Schema in the top left. Use your Google Sheet to dynamically drag and drop fields. For the title, drag and drop the field into the appropriate input. Remember to change item to first to ensure only one file is uploaded at a time. Otherwise, errors may occur if too many files upload simultaneously. Click Add option to include other metadata you'd like AI agents to fill in, such as description and tags. For quality control, I would suggest you have a final review because actual launch. Therefore, set the YouTube video privacy to unlisted. Let's go and check the uploaded YouTube video. See the title, description, tags, and privacy status are same as the information in Google Sheet. Then I can save a lot of times to fill in field by field for every single YouTube video. Step 4. Mark as complete. Last step is to update the video status in the Google Sheet, as you don't want to keep upload the same file again. Add a new step. Select Google Sheet and then Update Row in a Sheet. Select the credential and the Excel sheet name. Use the ID in the previous Google Sheet as a matching field. Remember to change to First to align with previous flow. Then in Video Status, update it to Published. Final, test entire workflow. Click the Test Workflow in the Overview page. Now everything runs smooth within one main. Go and click your Google Sheet and YouTube content upload. Once you see it is good to go, you can activate the flow. Then you can set up the same for multiple channels. Want more AI tools to save and make money? Drop a comment, like, subscribe, and grab free resources in the description. See you next time!